This video is sponsored by Attain Insight Security 4X, the trusted solution to streamline, automate, and audit end user security authorizations for Microsoft Active Directory and Entra ID. Visit them today at attaininsight.com. In this week's video, we're going to take a look at the all new Microsoft 365 backup and archive services, as well as taking a look at what's currently available and how these two new services are going to change your world. So stay tuned, you will learn something. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, Andy here. Um, on this week's episode, I thought I would take a look at the all new Microsoft 365 backup and archive services, which are inbound imminently uh, to your tenant. Now, uh, in terms of pricing and availability, uh, we're still waiting on the full details of it. But of course, I'll keep you updated as soon as I have any news. Now, as you can hear, I'm still suffering from my chest infection, so uh, please excuse my voice. It's not working at 100% this week, but I will do my best for you, okay? Now, um, if you haven't joined my Patreon site and you want to show a little bit more love, <laughs> then please do. Details are here. This is where you'll find access to lots of exclusive content, including full courses, uh, monthly Zoom calls, uh, exclusive Q&As, and so much more. So please come and uh, think about uh, joining that. Now, if you have any questions about this or any of my other sessions, as always, just get those down below and I'll do my best for you. So two demos this week, going to take a look at what we currently have and also how Microsoft 365 backup and archive features are going to change your world. Stay tuned. It's definitely worth the wait. So first of all, I'm kicking off here in Microsoft Purview and I'm coming into Data Lifecycle Management. And typically we've had this for quite some time. This is perfect for organizations for compliance reasons. I can simply come in here. I can create a retention policy and you can then, of course, decide on uh, what you want to do. Now, recently, we've uh, Microsoft have added in the ability to add a retention scope to uh, an admin unit, or in this case, I'm just setting it up for the entire full directory. Now, one of the clever things is you can also make it adaptive. So this can be based on dynamic rules. So for example, if a user is a member of a sales team in Oslo, then their data will be backed up, for example. Or in this case, you can select randomly exactly what you want to choose. So I can choose mailboxes, SharePoint sites, OneDrives, of course, and you've also got things like group mailboxes, and there are additional items as well, including things like Teams, private channel messages. Um, you've got things like Exchange public folders, if you still use those, and of course, things like on-premises data, which you can connect to with a data connector. And you can essentially choose how long you want to store your data for, up to a maximum of 10 years. And it can be based on when the item was created or when it was last modified. And you can choose what to do at the end of the retention period as well. So you can either choose to delete it or just leave it. You can also place the item on legal hold and only delete the items when they reach a certain age. So pretty much that's it. It's pretty simple and you just go ahead, create the policy and that now affects all users. So again, this was a really, really super simple feature and it works well. The problem with this technology though, is it doesn't air gap your data, which I'll come back to later. So a really interesting technology, and I'm guessing that this is where Microsoft got its new Microsoft 365 archiving feature from. You can find this currently in the Teams Admin Center. And in here, if you come down into Microsoft Teams, just go into Manage Your Teams, and you can see here, we have all our different teams here. So what I'm gonna do is I've got a team here called Oslo. Now, um, we have a number of options. So if I come up to the top here, you can either archive it, or of course you can delete it. 
If it, you delete the item, it goes into a double kind of recycle bin system. So the first recycle bin goes in for 30 days. The second one is for a further 63 days for a total of 93 days. Beyond that, you can place the items on legal hold using the tools that I just showed you. Or you can, of course, um, put a retention policy on it as well. Now, the other way that you can do it is I can click on the archive option here. And I can then say, hey, I want to archive this particular tool. So, and I want to maybe make the site available read only. But, you know, maybe at the end of a lifespan or the, the end of a period, and you want to go ahead and you want to archiving it. And you can see that this is going ahead now. And in a moment, this will turn red as it has now. So this um, Oslo team, you've finished the project, but you still want to keep the item for uh, you know, purposefully. Now, common question, can I unarchive it? Of course you can, you simply go back up here to unarchive. Now, in addition, of course, if you delete the item, I've shown this before on many of my videos, if you delete a team, just to remind you, you can see it's unarchiving it here, um, so if I delete this item, there is no recycle bin in Teams. You need to go to, into the 365 Admin Center and restore it from your deleted groups container. So just remember that. So again, when we're talking about archive, I kind of see where they're coming from. And this is a perfect example, which is now available in Teams. So here in my files, you can see I can simply come in, I can select a folder or an object, I can click onto it, and of course, we have got, you can now, of course, change things like this, the, the color and so on. But if I actually open up these files um, and I can click onto this, um, we did have that version history. So if you've got more than a single version of a file, you can simply select that and restore it. Now, in addition to this, of course, we also have the ability to restore a OneDrive. So I can simply come up here to my OneDrive settings and you can see that we have restore OneDrive. So I can simply select a date and time. I can go up to three weeks ago, in other words, 30 days. So you can see here that you get a list of things or I could just simply click onto this. How far back do I, I want to go? So I can simply come back to that date and you can see I can now select an item and I can restore that item. So that's what we currently have. Now the problem with this solution, as I've said, um, without things like retention, then your data will just go into that recycle bin system for 93 days. And the problem as well is that although we have all the security features of Microsoft 365, um, you have to ask the question, what if I got ransomware? And this is really where Microsoft 365 backup comes into play. So I've got two little demos here for you. I've got Microsoft 365 backup and also the new archiving feature. Let's have a quick look at the first. So here in the main 365 admin center in the organizational settings, you can see that we have a new data menu item. So this is Microsoft 365 backup. And as you can see, you can go ahead and back up OneDrive, Exchange, SharePoint, either individually or so on. In addition, I can, at the single click, I can back up my entire tenant. And this is an air gap to back up to defend against uh, attacks, potentially like ransomware, for example. And in terms of restoring, super simple again, I can then simply come in here into the 365 portal. I can say, okay, exactly what do I want to restore? For example, a mailbox, select the mailbox or mailboxes, and then just simply restore them. Again, a date and time, very similar to that OneDrive interface, and immediately it's done. So the Microsoft 365 archive is quite similar to the Teams demo. The only thing is, think of it as on steroids. So with the archive feature here, you can literally archive anything. Check this out. 
So, somewhat similar to the Teams archive demo, this is the new SharePoint Admin Center. And as you can see, we have a new tile that's showing me that I've got 88% of my storage used. So an obvious option is that we need to archive our data off. Now, again, similar to the Teams option, you can create a policy. You can specify how, how often you want to archive. Do you want to archive individual sites? And you can also, as you saw, link it with um, things like data loss prevention policies and so on. So you can choose how to clean up these stale sites. So you can see once the sites are archived, you can filter them and you can then decide exactly what you want to do. So uh, again, I can uh, simply archive these. I can go in and I can go in and say, hey, you know, I want to have a look at the records management. I want to change it. I want to perhaps maybe save it or unarchive it and so on, which again is super simple. So you can see uh, once you you can assign a retention policy, I really like this. The fact that it combines not just the archiving, but the retention policy. And this is something that the Teams policy was definitely missing. So I think this is something that is going to be make a huge difference. And you can see how much storage you actually save. So there you have it. What do you think? Microsoft 365 backup and archive solutions present and future. Do you think it's going to be a huge difference? And are you excited about it? I would love to know what you think. So get those uh, comments and questions down below. Hey, listen, I'd like to do a quick shout out for my sponsor today, Attain Insights Security 4X. Thanks so much for sponsoring my channel. Make sure that you definitely visit their site right there. Okay. Now, uh, just to mention that if you haven't subscribed, then please go ahead and click on that subscribe button and show me some love by hitting that like button. It does make a difference. Hey, that's it for this week. I really appreciate you joining me and hopefully my voice will be back to 100% next time around. You stay safe. I'll see you soon. Hey, thanks so much for dropping by today. Here's a couple of videos that you may enjoy. And while you're here, go ahead, click on the subscribe button and you won't miss out.